A mini revival, but that too has been put into perspective, even though yesterday's home defeat by Stoke was another freak show. Like Newcastle, Middlesbrough's game looked to be drifting their way. Watch for Chris Kamara's studs up tackle on Mark Brennan. Brennan laid out, but Kamara's on his way, and Stoke are down to ten men with four minutes left in the first half. But Middlesbrough found making their numerical advantage count frustratingly hard. Tony Mowbray prepared to lead by example as ever. Peter Davenport looked to have created the right opening for Bernie Slaven, but he hadn't made allowances for Peter Fox's brilliant reactions. Slaven doesn't normally need too many chances to make his mark, but he couldn't punish a terrible back pass. Fox just getting something to the ball, but enough. And worth the effort too. Then after 69 minutes, Stokes scored the sort of goal to break any team's heart. Wayne Biggins on the break, he fires in the shot, and Tony Ellis will be hard pushed to convince anyone he steered the ball in deliberately. But they all count, as they say. Still time for more agony for Middlesbrough. Last year they suffered enough, but when Slaven saw another effort scrambled away by Cliff Carr, he must have... Tomorrow.